it, you know, what, you know, I tried to sell Veronica Mars sort of on a two-word concept, you know, teen noir. And there aren't a lot of happy endings in noir. It's, it would be an oxymoron to, to give. And so occasionally there will be happy ending, but I always want, my favorite endings are bittersweet. Like a bittersweet seems to always be my target goal. They're my favorite endings. The big sort of Wayne's World happy ending is never really what I'm shooting for. I should say never. I mean, there are episodes that I go for that that I think fundamentally it, 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 it wouldn't fit to paste the pure Veronica wins the talent show and gets a record deal uh, at the end of uh, of that show. It wouldn't make sense. And yeah, you know, it's funny, the, the end of season three, which was incredible, more bitter than sweet uh, at the end of season three, but I love it. I, I do, uh, even though it was unresolved, I loved watching Veronica walk into that way of knowing she had wrecked her dad's career in, uh, and then she she couldn't be with Logan. It was that all felt right to me, but it felt more right if I got to continue it in season four. Um, so we're finally getting to pick that story up seven, eight years later. <laughs>